right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. So today I want to go over the Pelco Continuing Education courses. This is not sponsored, as you can see. It's blurry, but I paid $125 out of my own pocket. So I paid for this on July 30th. You'll see that here in a second. All you do is go to their website, click uh, register, sign in once you're done with that. And they do have courses for electrical and plumbing and maybe some other as well, but I'm not sure. I already completed everything, so you can go ahead and go to your certificates. You can click on their certificates right here and it'll tell you uh, that you're done with the course and how much it's worth and all that good stuff. And that's basically what they report to the Oregon and Washington uh, state websites or other webs other states that are compatible with this course. It'll tell you, which is really nice. Uh, obviously, I needed <clears throat> Oregon and Washington because I have licenses in both states. So I could just do the Oregon course for $100 or I could do Oregon and Washington for $125. So obviously $125 is a better deal. Um, so these are the courses that I bought. This this is the course that I bought right here. It does have um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I believe there's, there's another one. There's at least seven uh, different things in this course that you can choose from. Um, so this is the Washington part right here. Um, I don't know what just happened. And there's an Oregon one down here below it. And then... All the other ones are for like code changes and stuff like that. Um, so <clears throat> this is the test right here. So like you can see right here, I started on July 30th at 7.40 p.m. or that's when it finished. Um, so I finished this first test. But mostly all these tests are anywhere between 40 minutes to an hour and a half and they're four to eight hour courses. Um, the only course that took longer was the two, the, the eight hour course, which was 200 questions. Uh, as you can see up here, but that one went pretty quick as well. I'd say it was about an hour and a half to two hours. So I'd say every every single course you can do in about a fourth of the time. So a four-hour test you can do in about an hour, and the eight-hour course you can do in about two hours. Uh, but as you can see, here's all my scores, 94 out of 100, 49 out of 50, 90 out of 100, 97 out of 100, 92 out of 100, and 188 out of 200. Um, so the first test, like you can see, finished 740. Next test, 809, so that's about... 29 minutes for that. I'm not sure which the, the difference is if it's the beginning time or the ending time, but 29 minutes on that one. And then the next day I went ahead and did another two, 8.39 and 9.06 p.m. So that's another uh, 27 minutes-ish. And then I did one the next day because that one just burnt me out. This was the hardest one right here. Took the longest. I think, I don't know if that one was like an hour and a half or two. Um, basically, it was, uh, I think that was the one going over... I don't know, one of these was over the hospital, it was really annoying. I think that was that one probably, or that was grounding and bonding. Either way, one of them really sucked. Um, and then the last one, the code changes was pretty good. Um, just a lot of questions and that one was like the hour and a half to hour one. So anyways, those are the courses there. Uh, let me go back to my account. So nice basic interface. So this is the one that I bought right here, $125. Um, and then you can go ahead and see these are your courses here. It checks it off when it's done. And this is the one that I didn't do that I don't need. So this has this course has uh, 24 hours um, and then also has the Washington four hours. So um, I believe that one is the four hour one right here. Yeah, four hour course right there. So you got 24 hours in Oregon and then you also have the four hour in Washington. So a total of 28 hours. Um, so basically I didn't need to do this one because I already had the 24 hours completed. Um, and then I also did the Washington one. So there's an extra four hours in the course. Um, but anyways, basically you go ahead and click on a test, go ahead and start the course. And then this is what it looks like. It would just ask you questions. You go A, B, C, D has a little section for the code book. So you don't need to buy a code book or use a code book. Um, so it pops up with a code book right here. It has a little section right here going over a few chapters. To find the answer and the, the easiest way to do this is just click control find type in a keyword like interval or something like that or maximum so you can go ahead and type an in interval and then it gives you all your options here for six different ones you can obviously choose better keywords and stuff like that to narrow it down to more like uh, one or two and then read those one or two and then find the answer within like 10 seconds so really easy that's how you get it done really really quickly uh, but overall uh, like I said, not sponsored, but just giving my thoughts over this course. Um, I really enjoyed it. 
I mean, obviously answering hundreds of questions wasn't really enjoyable, but the course was really nice and easy. Um, I think the last time I did online, um, the last, last online course I used was from Jade Learning, and that was the first time I renewed my license. And it was kind of a similar experience. I don't remember if I had questions or not. I mean, I had questions, but I think I just blew through the questions, failed the test, and then uh, wrote all the answers down and then went back and like 100 percent of the test so i don't know if that's still the case but i went ahead with this one because all my coworkers were telling me about this one and my boss said it was really easy with the control fine so went ahead and did that everything went really well finished this in three days everything reported to uh the websites uh oregon and washington are both reported basically as soon as you finish the courses within 24 hours your uh your test and continuing education hours are added to your license and are visible on the website. So really, really fast. I would really appreciate that. So as soon as I finished the 24 hour course, I went ahead and paid my $100 renewal license fee for Oregon. So now my Oregon license, continuing education and a license fee is complete. So I'll get a new license in the mail whenever that comes um, before its expiration, I hope, which is October 1st. So anyways, Really, really uh, happy with this course from Pelco CEU uh, website, pelcoceu.com, I believe, and .net. Um, something, let me go back here. I don't know. Anyways, website, Google Pelco, and then you'll get it. So anyways, um, yeah, everything went really well. Um, happy with the course. No regrets. Good price. Hopefully, Hopefully this helped you out in some way get your continuing education hours done really quick, 24 hours and about a fourth of the time. So about six hours, six to eight hours for the 24 hour course. If you guys need 24 hour courses, check it out. Not sponsored, no referral links, no nothing. So anyways, hopefully this helped you out. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one, which will be probably a, uh, Joanard, uh, tool review. So anyways, Stay tuned for that, and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe for more content later.